when you first start to get to know him, he's kind of uncomfortable in his own skin and seems a little nervous and um, you don't know exactly what he's hiding, but clearly he's kind of bubbling over and seems to be simmering and not totally in control. Um, and as the, the tale continues, it's sort of like a, like Russian nesting dolls or something. You just keep learning new layers and tiers of his, you know, dimension as a, as a character. Needless to say, it was pretty insane. And um, you, you, acting with Jeff, it's pretty amazing. There's times where you're acting and you forget that you're acting because you get so mesmerized just watching him. And you kind of go into a fugue state and you're like, oh, shit, oh my God, we're still in it. Okay, yeah, oh, my God, sorry. Because he's just so captivating and so, so very believable in every moment. And he really throws himself entirely in. It is so detailed, just things that, like Kaylee said, will never maybe show up on camera. But as an actor, it's crazy because you it makes your job so much easier. And it's almost unfair because it's like, oh my God, I'm in just in, I'm in it. I'm, I'm here. I don't have to make believe much here. I mean, basically you're just, erasing the cameras from your periphery, and you're in it. There's nothing different from where you are to what's written in the script, so it's an incredible set. It's a movie set over one night on the border of California, Nevada, with the whole cast of these kind of allegorical American characters of that period, and it's the fan and chaos ensues and each character is not quite who they say they are and there's layers upon layers upon layers hidden within the story and each character kind of is has a darkness within them and is looking for something and I think one reason why many people will be pretty captivated by the film itself is because each character is so relatable. Part of them has something that everybody, I think, can connect to. He is so connected to each character and so invested in making sure the humanity shines through in each character. And he really feels like they're all kind of vehicles for certain parts of him that he is discovering or has discovered or is hiding or is, and it's kind of spectacular to watch and to be a part of and to kind of work with him on and kind of like just funnel ourselves into together. It's, it's kind of like a partnership. It really, really felt that way. Undoubtedly, there are gonna be so many surprises in this that people just, there's no way you can expect. There's no way you can see coming. Um, and so in that sense, it's going to be pretty riddled with all these kind of landmines that people aren't really ready for. And then on top of that, this movie has so many hidden things within it that I think what people are going to really come away from is they're going to be like, I want to watch that again. Hi there, I hope you liked the video. Now, I have to be quick on this one as I'm trying to set a record. Did you know the shortest performance to win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor was Anthony Quinn's Eight Minute to the Forces Gauguin in the 1956 movie Lust for Life? Meanwhile, the shortest performance to win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress was Beatrice Strait's Five Minutes and Forty Seconds performance in the 1976 film Network. Yes! Well, looks like a bit both of them. So if anyone from the Academy is watching, you know where to find me. Oh, by the way, my name is Valeria. Now, remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. See ya!